hello 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 i hope y'all enjoyed this video of mr cryer explaining that um how the dna works and um we all hope that that's his baby at least i do anyway it'll look good for them so congratulations to you and erica boat you girl out of here peace
I'm not that much older than you, but I am older. And I can understand where you're coming from, and I can understand what you're saying. So you have a lot of youth on your platform, came from your son platform, so that's why they don't understand. Let's get to the video. For a year and a half, it was off and on. Relationship, we get into it, fight, whatever, argue, blah, blah, blah. Get out of my house, get out of my house too, blah, blah, blah. And we get back together. So even though that we broke up, our breakup was still fresh. We were still dibbling and dying. Of course we were. convinced other people that we were messing around while we were in a relationship while while they were in a relationship for their own benefit of course when you break up with somebody they're not going to tell their new boyfriend or new girlfriend anything good about you right they're going to tell that dude or that woman anything to make you look bad to make them feel good we all did it i did it when me and erica broke up just like she did it to me we both was rapping just like everybody else was rapping we human. It's just what we do. We try to impress the new person by trying to down the other person that we was with. We only human. And so, it was like everything was happening there. No, I did not sleep with the other individual. She paused and said during that time. At all. However, um, when I did go to the doctor, they asked me what was my last cycle and That's true. Which is why Dion came a month early because they can only go off of what she told them. And that's why I requested a DNA after Erica had her son Dion. Because she told the doctor the timeline that she thought that she had got pregnant. But obviously, none of us is really never right. We do know that when our woman missed her cycle, Reason I was that there's a slim chance that there might be a bun in the oven, but it's not always the case because you can still be pregnant or in your early stages and still come on your cycle a little bit, which will confuse you and make you think, well, I'm not pregnant. So she told the doctor a date. The doctor just wrote it down. Nobody ever knows for certain. I don't think that if a man takes this little pecky, uh, pecky sausage.
damn you is the father. I don't have anything against Mr. Marker, but I think that Mr. Marker and Creo Bay got their little thing going on, and um, they would like to start their little family or whatever. And I feel like that if Erica is pregnant by him, that it's not going to be any confusement or drama or anything of that sort of kind, right? I'm just saying it just don't. It, it, it just wouldn't look right that they crossed over a relationship with each other. So I'm hoping that, you know, Mr. Cryer and Erica, that's their baby, and they can do their little family thing, and Creo Bay and Marker family, they can start their little family. So maybe Latoya, Creo Bay would be comfortable saying, hey, okay, now I know I can go on with my life with him, and I can have his baby without have to feel like Erica has a baby by him also and I dealt with Mr. Cryer. Y'all get what I'm saying? If not, go back and look at my old videos and you'll see where I did a, a little uh, series of their um, skits, you know. Because I, I really do like this family. I really do like Mr. Cryer and his son and the grandbabies and um, Erica, you know, uh, Creole Bay, Marco family. I love both sides of the family. Because I'm a family person myself due to I have five children and multiple grandkids. So I'm a big family. <laughs> a big family person. I mean, I love to sit at the table with all my children my grandkids. So that's just how I am. And I thank God for that. Thank you, Lord. So, like I was saying, I hope that this baby is Mr. C. I really do. I honestly, honestly, honestly do. And I know that Mr. C watched my... Uh, videos whenever I do a video with him and he do send me a heart or whatever you know and I thank him for that as well but um Mr. C if you watching this can I get my shout out as well along you know as I go on with these videos thank you for not doing a uh, strike on me or a copyright claim on me I really appreciate it and um I'm here for you I'm here for you, I'm here for Eric, I'm here for Creo Bay, I'm here for the Marco family. Because like I said, I am a family person as well as you are. And I'm so happy and proud to say that you have stepped up to the plate you always have. Whether I knew you or not on YouTube, you know, you could t I can tell you a man of character. So let's get to this video. Uh, which is why I haven't mentioned the other individual's name since December. Sorry about all the smacking, guys. Yeah, you smacking, bro. Listen, one thing about me, I don't mind stepping to the plate. And this is not me firing shots. If I'm gonna fire a shot, I'll just say the shit straight out. I'm not scared of nobody. Mm-hmm. But God. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all quit saying I'm firing shots. I fear no man. So I'm not firing shots. I'm just saying, I'm gonna step up to the plate because there is no way I'm gonna go through this whole pregnancy will not be there for this woman. Knowing that it's a chance, even if it's only a 5% chance mm -hmm. that this baby could be mine. I'm gonna live with the guilt of knowing that I wasn't there for nothing. So absolutely, I don't mind taking DNA tests. You know, uh, the baby deserved the dad. The baby didn't ask to be here. That baby is innocent. Right. Regardless how messy our situation is, for what we done did out here in these YouTube streets, Baby ain't nothing to do with it. Baby deserves a good, stable set of parents and a good, stable home. You know, despite what you guys said on YouTube, you know, we are very good people. We are very humble people. Despite what people say about us on YouTube, which is something that's never gonna stop, that's actually a plus for us. Right. You know, but regardless of what you guys see on these platforms, man, don't make us bad people. You can judge a person based off of a 10, 15, or 20 minute video and think that you know they home entire life because that's just not the case. It's simply not the case. Let's continue. And hey, you guys will probably never hear me mention the other individual's name, ever. <laughs> Regardless of what the outcome is. Gotta do what you gotta do. I got to that's true. But, um, yeah, so I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, Be back in a minute. <laughs> Download the DoorDash driver app and get started. Back to it, so I really don't care as long as they're 
is no disrespect, you know, because I'm not going to disrespect no one on here. I'm just going to say this right here. You know, a lot of things happen during times that we didn't know each other. You know, and again, we are only human. We're only human. Yes, I'm an older man, so I know that there's certain measures that I'm supposed to take. I'm the older man. I know that I'm going to be held to a higher standard because I am the older party. But sometimes, even as the older party, we do make mistakes too. You know, so I just want to re reiterate what she talked about. You know, I do feel like that we are still a family. You know, you don't have to live with someone or do all this other stuff just to prove that you're family. I got people that I call family who's not even any relationship to me. And it fit our son. Isn't that the same as saying this man has a job and he takes care of his kids? I mean, isn't that the same thing as saying this man has a good job and he takes care of his kids? Not only does he take care of his kids, but he supports his kid's mom. How is that? He supports his kid's mom. That's great, Mr. Cry. Yeah, I like that. This is, this is part two, y'all. Come on in, join me. Let's get it. What is that using Erica for views? What happens when you collab with people? When people reach out to you for a collab and say they want to pay you for a collab or a shout out. Isn't that using someone for subscribers and views? So what's the difference? It's because I'm doing videos with Erica. I'm using her for views. It sounds to me like our son Dion is benefiting very, very greatly. So that's not using Erica for views. I can do videos by myself. You know, just like I'm doing this video by myself right now. I guess the next thing they're going to say is I'm using her video for views. I'm Nick Nimmin, and I'm a StreamYard user. For the last six years, I've been live streaming consistently to YouTube and Facebook and everywhere else on the internet that would have me. And during that time, I've had the opportunity to use pretty much all the live streaming software that's available. Once I discovered StreamYard and found how easy it is, I was sold right out of the gate. With Amerisafe's consistently low mortgage rates, you can dream bigger. Like sending your daughter to the college of her choice so she can follow her dreams wherever they take her. Maybe towards a career in the ethics of rhythm and movement. Or wherever these folks are headed with their solo cups at 10.30 a.m. Or even to the crepery your tuition check is now funding. Anyway, good luck with that. Because Amerisafe can only help with the part of the dream you could buy. With money. Somewhere around the world, maybe one of your neighbors. A lot of us 
you can jump into situations, you know, without really knowing a person. Sometimes we do think with our other head, other parts of our body. You know, especially when it's someone that we genuinely care about, we could potentially destroy the relationship by jumping into it too fast. That's what happened with me and Erica. Do I care about Erica? Obviously. We jump into the relationship too bad and we destroy everything. You know, we could, well, no, we didn't destroy everything. We destroyed the relationship. You know, we let a lot of personal stuff spill over on the internet. She's not to blame for everything. I'm to blame too. I'm just as responsible as she is. You know, um, but yeah, let's get back to the video. Brothers back in each other's face, and I'm glad that it happened that way. So, anyways, um, I, again, once again, I just want to give you guys something. Um, like, part, it's a store with a jack in a box attached to it. And I'm about to go, no, I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to go around here and get me a, a cup of ice. This will be my second cup of ice today. My doctor said it's completely healthy because my iron level is uh, very good. And I will definitely be pushing on me some ice in a. Let me stop it right there, guys. We can talk for a minute. So basically, I did go to Erica. I did go to Erica. Finally. Because I did want to know, like, what was going on. I wanted, like, a little time of everything. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what the outcome is going to be. You know, I don't really know what's going to happen from this point. But what I do know, you know, I hope the baby is mine. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know, um, I, a while back, somebody said, oh, my God. You know, this is when she was pregnant with Dion. Oh, you're going to be paying child support, all this other stuff. Oh, she got it. Guys, 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 guys. There's one thing about me, man. I don't care about none of that stuff. What I care about is that my kids are good, healthy, being raised right. You know, um, I've been through the system my whole life. So anything else is nothing new to me. I always said I stand on 10 toes, man. You know, I'm gonna do what I can for mine. You know, and I'm gonna always go that extra mile. That's right, Mr. Cryer. I agree with you on that. Um, being on the system, it is what it is. What's most important, and in, in for any of you guys out there that are um, young, I can understand you being upset with the baby father. I can understand you being upset if you guys not together anymore, no longer, and he start dating somebody else. You get mad, you want to run to the other people. And start taking child support out on that person instead of sitting down compromising with each other. How are we going to do our co-parent together? You don't always have to necessarily go to the people and do child support. You can sit down and have a talk. Don't be mad because that guy don't want you anymore or he find interest in somebody else or he just want to be alone. You know, don't take it to the heart, ladies. Don't take it to the heart. Please, you know. I, you may say, well, um, Brene, you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. Now, I'm going to say this as well. If, if you know your baby daddy is not going to do right, he's not going to do right, then you take father action. But if you know you got a great baby daddy, he's there for the baby, he spent time with the baby, he spent money, you know, take care of the baby like he's supposed to, and he's a good guy, don't run to those people try to um, bash him and crash him. You know what I'm saying? But if you got that dad that's, hey, you know, I know he's not going to pay. I know what I, I know my baby daddy. Okay, go ahead. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do to take care of your baby. You know, and it goes the same as um a female. As well, if your baby daddy have custody of the children and they taking care of the children, do what's right. Pay child support. And if you're going to be a deadbeat mom, just like you would say a deadbeat dad, 
you ha they have the right to take child support out on you. But if you're a good mother and you know what you're supposed to do because you know you want your baby to be looking good out there and to be taken care of because we are a strong, we are strong women and we want everything for our children. So Mr. Cryer is right. We fall down, but we can get up, okay? Let's get to the video. So, if the baby comes out mine, great. 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 If the baby comes out not mine, it doesn't even matter. You know why? Because as long as there's breath in my body, I'm going to beat her no matter what. Hey, we don't use those pillows, right? Not really. Awesome. Because that's the type of person that I am. You know, um, I wasn't done wrong. When this woman got pregnant, she didn't do me dirty. She didn't run off and cheat on me and all this other stuff. You know, stuff happens, man. I mean, it could happen to me. When, when we broke up, I could have got someone else pregnant. You know, that would have been a real concern right there for me. You know, so people have been asking me in the comments, basically, of how do I think my kids would feel, you know, if they knew I had another baby on the way. Here's the thing. What about my son, Damon Prince? Damon had always been the baby for a lot of years. Damon had been the baby for a lot of years. And he knew it. He knew it. Darian came along. When Darian was born in 2008, I could see the look in my son Damon's face. It wasn't jealousy or nothing. He just, you know, he knew, even though he was a grown man, he knew that he was no longer the baby anymore. You know, Darian was the baby. Darian was the baby for 13 years. You know, and he's still my baby. Dion came along. Darian's no longer the little baby. Dion is the baby. You know, and I just feel like me being a stepdad all those years, like, is it going to make a difference now? When I'm in somebody's life, I'm in their life. And when you accept someone with kids, you accept and assume the responsibility of them as well. Whether you're the biological dad or you're not the biological dad, because that's what a real man does. It's called stepping up to the plate. You can't accept a woman and not accept her kids. You shouldn't be there, man. You shouldn't even be in the same room. You shouldn't even be allowed to be around her kids at all, or her for that matter. So, I will say this. I'm not confused about anything, nor am I hurt about anything. I'm actually really, really excited for the baby to get here. You know, and I'm gonna say this again, regardless what the outcome is, Regardless of what the outcome is, you know, I'm very, very excited. Um, Erica agreed to let me get a DNA test. You know, whether we do it on camera for you guys, who knows? We'll just see what happens. But she agreed to let me get the DNA test. You know, we have talked about it. Um, also, someone was also asking, well, if you and Erica is around each other, you know, a lot, why didn't you just ask her instead of making a video but if I wouldn't have made the video then people wouldn't really have nothing to talk about we're YouTubers our life unfolds on YouTube so that video really didn't make a huge difference of whether I did it in a YouTube video or whether I asked her you know it wasn't about the process it was about the results then the results only and the results is we're getting a DNA test. I want to be, um, I want to step up and I want to just get this DNA test. You know, um, and I really honestly don't think that I'm going to be hurt anyway. Because I've already accepted. I'm cool with it. Like I said, it wasn't like she stuck out the house while I was asleep and one did dirt behind my back, man. We all humans, man. And it is what it is. I want to be there no matter what. So anyway, before I end this video off, I'm going to do a couple of post notification shout outs. The first post notification shout out goes to John Smith, gang, 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 John Smith, you are today's first post notification shout out. 
on a prior family. And the second one is Jawan Irving. Gang, gang, gang. Jawan Irving. You are today's second post on kitchen shout out on a prior family. Don't forget, guys, if you want a chance to be shot out on a prior family, man, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Keep the notifications on, turn that bell on, and all that good stuff. Leaving a comment always helps if you leave a comment. 